So today we embark on a new adventure as last time on my South American video I put a little poll up saying would you like to see a sandbox zoo and it was an overwhelming majority So that's what we're gonna be doing today now my franchise zoo is obviously in a tiger biome in North America So for this sandbox zoo, we're gonna go tropical and Oceana why not all the way over here and we're gonna put it on easy difficulty because we are a wuss and the name oh it doesn't fit joel exotic sanctuary instead we'll just go for joel exotics zoo <laughs> doesn't sound as cool but there we go and don't worry for those who've seen tiger king it's gonna be nothing like the zoos in there this is gonna be a nice zoo look at this we have everything unlocked it's wonderful we don't have to do any blumming research we can hire as much staff as we want and this money tab doesn't matter which means we can just be creative yay we're gonna start out by being creative by completely deleting this rubbish there we go doesn't that look so much better nice as this zoo is not gonna be as big as out of a zoo in fact we're probably only gonna have like 20 different types of animals I'd guess maybe less and we're gonna make like a car park entrance stuff like that try and make it look a bit more realistic so let's start with the entrance I guess and I think we're gonna go for like a really natural feel with this zoo so lots of nature lots of wood it's gonna look tasty and I'm definitely gonna be using some of these new bamboo blocks because they are as natural as they come so let's start off with our first time lapse where we're gonna hopefully build the entrance and this may take a while as I have absolutely zero plans right now although I do have a vague idea in my head so what you're about to watch here is about to be an extremely long time lapse yes that's right I think this lasts for about four minutes or something like that because we went a bit crazy I think I spent about three and a half hours building somewhere around that and I was messing around with loads of different layouts as you can see here but eventually got one that I liked which was a bit tricky because I kind of had this idea in my head that I wanted it to be sunken in some sections and high up in some sections as you can see here and I think I might change it around a little bit but the basic layout will stay the same in all of this and also I was using a lot of the new blocks I think they just look awesome I love the bamboo I love the new pillars that they have and I love these new stone walls as well I think they look really cool and I'm just making a little staff area there to hide away that big fat ugly path that you can see and then we got working on our ticket office which is going to have a few information buildings in because of how this zoo is going to work and because we're in franchise mode it means that I can just sort of add in lots of shops right now and I don't have to worry about them not being used and stuff like that because all the zoos I've done in the past the shops I never have enough so I'm going to just try and go a little bit overboard with the shops here so that there's plenty and the guests don't get annoyed at being hungry or lacking information etc etc and I'm not going to lie this building is the thing that took me about three hours to build like I don't know why it took me so long it just did okay I went for a mix of the bamboo walls and stuff like that as you can see here just the basic dried out looking ones not the new green ones as well and I wanted to have like an information center and a little restaurant sort of place, like a little place you get food as well. And I wanted to make it look fancy as this is probably going to be the first place you walk into when you come to the zoo. And it's going to be just sort of like a little area, not inside the zoo, but just outside it that people will walk in and get the tickets and then head on in to the main zoo where we'll have like someone checking tickets. I know this is all not part of the gameplay of the game, but that's how we're going to have it, okay? I wanted to have like a realistic sort of zoo this time and I am sorry if this is going a bit too fast We're actually gonna head into the zoo after this and we're gonna actually do a bit more of the final decorating on this building Together where I'll just sort of talk through it rather than just having a quick time lapse as I've got now So the little glass roof section you can see here. This is where the two restaurants are There's like a water and a food one So it's got like a mix of both and I made like a little sign saying tickets as well So people know that you get the tickets 
tickets in here, although you don't actually get your tickets in here, they buy them before. Either way, it's going to be nice, it's going to be funky, and I made a flat roof for this thing. I've done a lot of sort of like pointed roofs in the past, but this one, I went for a flat roof as it wanted to make it look more like an actual sort of zooey building. I feel like I've seen a lot on the subreddit with flat roofs, and I thought I'd give it a go, and it's kind of tricky to make a flat roof look interesting, but I tried my best. With these support beams here, I used some pink ones and just some natural looking ones, and I also tiered the roof as well, because I think that makes it look a lot nicer than just one big flat roof, and it ended up looking pretty cool, although it still looks a bit basic. I need to add some more stuff on the roof. I had like a couple of air conditioners, but to be honest, it needs more stuff, so I might have to like customize and make some of those. And honestly, I was expecting to get more done this episode, but to be honest with you, this thing, I want to spend a long time on it. I want to spend a long time, and each episode is probably going to have like one building and some fun other stuff added in, like some plants and stuff. We'll work on a staff room area at some point as well, but let's go have a look around. So ignore everything in the surrounding area and just focus on the building because I think the building is looking pretty cool. We've added these two glass container things here and I put like a little mist effect in because I thought that looked really funky in there. And we've got the elephant breaking through the wall here as well, which I thought looked really cool. Inside, it's a bit plain. We're gonna work on that in a second. But I really like the entrance, how it sort of sticks out. And the idea is, right, so that people walk into the zoo through here, massive space to walk through, because last time I did like a one small path and that did not work very well. So I've done this huge boy path here for now. There's a staff area over here. Probably gonna put another one over here as well. And it's gonna have like a lake in the middle of this section here, like a sort of man-made looking lake. Maybe like a little island in the middle of it, just to make it look quite cool. And then the rest of the zoo is gonna be like all the way over here. I want it to go like big in decorating and making it look aesthetically pleasing, rather than just cramming everything up really close together. I'm gonna have like loads of tropical looking trees behind here and stuff, and some on this bit as well. I don't know why this is doing this, but it's really, really annoying me. Look at this, what is that from? Is it the pattern? glitching out? Oh, I don't know, but it's really annoying me. Can I fix this by just doing like this? Ah! Did not fix it. Okay. Maybe I could add like a little sort of thing like that in a little path and we'll put something in the middle of it there and then we'll have a wall going around this bit here. Maybe a curved wall. We'll work on that another time. I could get rid of this ramp as well. I'm not sure if I need this ramp. Yeah, I, I think I might get rid of this ramp and put like a shop there. That could look cool. And then that also fixes that problem there. But either way, yeah, this is the building. We've also got a nice big gorilla in this one here with just some flowers. Kind of hard to like put those things down without it sprouting out the other side. So that's why it looks a bit weird and all a bit clumped together. From the outside, I think it looks cool. And then we got the two food places here. The floor is a bit glitchy because like this is actually a raised path and this is on flat ground. Then there's a corridor through here, as you can see, which leads to this area. And we've also got some toilets over here where all our staff are waiting. Uh, because there's no staff rooms at the moment, so I don't know why they're doing that. But yeah, I need to obviously sort to the power, everything else. Apparently people can't get in this. I think it's too low. Hopefully people can get to it now. But like I said, I want to add some nature sort of stuff in here. So we're going to try and decorate the inside of this place. Also work on this wall here, because at the moment it just looks a bit sort of short. So let's have a look and we'll go on the South America pack because I've been using it a lot. Maybe, hmm, I think first we'll add like a little layer like this on top all the way above here like so. And also fix this bit as that just looks terrible now that those pillars just stop. So get some of these beams and sort of, oh that's not long enough, now that's too long. Actually yeah, it could look okay at that length. Spread them out like that. And then get another little one to put on top or underneath even, that could look better. Bring that forward, other side as well like so. And what can we put on top of that? Maybe like just a monkey like that. Butterfly as well, that's cool. And then on top of this wall here, we're actually gonna get some of the bamboo. Like these things here, make like a custom little fence type top thing. Single doesn't look very good. How about we double it up to like that. It's kind of like a natural looking like stay out sort of thing, isn't it? Let me get some of this new hanging moss stuff. Might place one off here. And some of this new sort of like these root pillar things. These look kind of cool. It's kind of tricky to merge them together though, but that looks 
pretty cool. That's looking very natural. I like that. I'm gonna put some of these like little broken rocks down here as well. Maybe let's get like a planter. Is there any new planters with these things? Hmm. No, it's not. Okay, let's get an old one. Maybe one of these that kind of matches. Put that there. Some nice tropical plants. I'm gonna add some of this like tropical plant in here as well to sort of like make this look a bit greener. That's a cool effect. That's looking very natural. I like that a lot. And then behind this place, I want to go a bit wild with the palm trees. These are going to be floating on this side, but just, you know, we can cover that up in a second. There we go. That's looking very tropical. I like that a lot. I want to go like this all around this zoo. It's going to look super tropical. I'm excited. In fact, let's add another little planter in here. I really like this new tropical plant. That looks so cute. I don't think it's right for there. So instead we'll go for a bit of something like that. Very nice. And inside here, we're gonna have a big planter in the center of this bit here, like so. It's kind of like in the center of that building. We have a big tropical tree, which I'm pretty sure doesn't touch the ceiling. Yeah, it's good. Nice. Let's try some of these new flowers around the side. Lovely. So one thing I always forget to add in are bins. So let's add in some bins quickly. Go for some just generic looking ones like this. All right, that should be enough bins for now. Don't know what to fill up this space with. Let's have a look. Is there any like cool paintings or something we can use or some props? We'll have more flowers in for sure. Yes, this llama is going here. Put some animals and cool stuff on the walls. And you know what? That llama's not going there. It, does, it doesn't fit. I just wanted to add it in really badly. Use this like sort of cool vines that are added in, like they're just for decoration, but look, you can apply them up there. They look pretty cool. Put them all the way around the room. Adding in some like fences and stuff in here as well. And I hate this when this happens, but oh, there we go. Just to separate these places off like so. This is looking a bit more together now. And how will people know this is a toilet without, oh gosh, a toilet sign? next to it. That's looking a lot better now. This section over here is still looking a bit empty though. Let's funk it up a bit with a couple of these next to each other. Nice. And we'll put some pillars in as well just because they got some nice texture. Go for a clock on the wall. Some of these nice flowers. There we go. That looks a lot better. Maybe let's add like a picnic bench in here as well. Quite generic looking one. Just one because not many people will be eating in here. They'll be going into the actual zoo itself. And like I said, I'm just going to put some more tropical flowers around as well. Perfect. I'm happy with that. I think this ticket building is looking great. All right, so imagine there's more stuff on the side. We've got a nice pond here. What can I put over here on this side? I'm thinking of putting like a restaurant down here and maybe like a teaser animal along the side of one of these things. Like not have these stairs coming down on every side. Maybe only just on this side and then we'll have a ramp up. And then on this side... We'll have like a little fun, small little animal enclosure with a little animal in it. I'm not sure what yet, but we'll figure it out. But I'm really happy with that. I think this is looking cool. And you know what? It's only the first episode. There's so much more to come. I'm excited. We haven't got any animals yet, but I think this is going to look like a good zoo. When this whole area is built up, oh, it's going to look beautiful. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did enjoy. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you another time for another video. Goodbye.